I just broke the news to Andy that there is a hole in our boat. I'm Andy and this is Kirsten. Roughly one year ago, we purchased our boat, Magic Dragon, and we had her almost ready to go back in the water. But then Hurricane Ian hit and now we have more projects to take care of. First up, we're gonna fix the crack in our hull. So welcome back to All Hans on Deck. In the last episode, I was down at the boat myself, seeing it for the first time after Hurricane Ian, and we're back. Yesterday, we came by the boat just real quick and Kirsten got to see it for the first time herself after Hurricane Ian. This time, Kirsten is here with me and she's gonna get her first look at the boat. Let's go take a look. All right, well, could be worse. And today we begin fixing the boat, starting with the cracks in the hull. And so coming down here and also yesterday we went and got a bunch of the supplies that we need to fix the boat, including earmuffs, mixing cups, a respirator, tieback painting suit, Kirsten's favorite, an angle grinder, gloves, paint brushes, two part marine grade epoxy, flat discs, fairing compound, and a lot of fiberglass. So let's go get started. Let's go take a look at the crack. So that's the crack and the plan is to grind all of this damaged fiberglass out with the angle grinder. You have to grind out all of the damaged fiberglass. It'll be a pretty big area that we're dealing with. Power tools. Some assembly of wire. There is gonna be a lot of fiberglass dust, so hopefully this suit prevents me from getting it all over my skin. This respirator is also going to prevent me from breathing in the fiberglass particles. I just broke the news to Andy that there is a hole in our boat. Well, I mean, it's fine, we can fix it. So we'll put fiberglass on the inside and the outside. And... They give me a angle grinder and I immediately put a hole in the boat. We're gonna get Kirsten explained. <laughs> so this is what we accomplished yesterday. Put a giant hole in our boat and Today, we are going to keep grinding, literally. It's very glamorous. I don't know why I'm sweating so much today. It's, it's warm today, there's not the wind. So I've been inside measuring. The hole here, three and a half inches down this way, there is the like half tab. And so I think that's what this layer of fiberglass is, is the tab on the inside. And then this, I'm still pretty sure is the floor joint.
put up a tent um, at the request of our boat neighbors. They're actually very gracious about it. It makes sense. The wind shifted earlier today and yesterday. The wind was blowing from that side out into just kind of the open. So it's not that big of a deal. Now it's blowing from the open in. So trying to be good boat neighbors. So <clears throat> we're getting close to grinding out. I say we, Kirsten is doing a fantastic job. She's getting very close to finishing the grinding work around like the main crack in the hull. So part of it is you have to have um, enough space between kind of the beginning of the good glass to like overlay and marry the new glass to the old hull. So that means from the very end of where the good glass is, where that starts, we need to go back another three inches to be able to overlay the new glass, you know, like this, across the old glass, so that way it marries up. However, to get that grinding and get all that bad glass out, we came through the hull. So what we're gonna do is behind the cabinets here, we're gonna tab in, not tab in, we're gonna lay some glass on the inside of the hull to cover those holes, so that way the new glass has something to back it to. It'll also be stronger. So what I'm doing right now is I am kind of prepping the area. Now that that area is basically prepped, it's time to kind of measure uh, what we will need. Normally I'd like to get plastic template and lay it out but I don't have any of that right now. I wanna go ahead and get this cloth cut. So, tape measure it is. Now, to dry fit those pieces. She's done a lot. Let's go take a look. So I think this morning we only had like this little hole. This hole is much smaller. So through the course of the day, I tried to even out all of the delaminated pieces. Uh, so I kept working my way further and further out and uncovered two additional holes here and here. Uh, but that needed to be taken care of, so. Now I think I think I have the right like uh, like perimeter all the way around the holes. Sand it out. It's as smooth as I could get it. Once again, not being a professional at this, but pretty happy with it for my first time. So what's the next steps? Uh, so next steps I think is we're gonna lay this piece of fiberglass on the inside so that we have like a base to put the first layers of fiberglass here. We are uh, then gonna create a pattern out of uh, this hole so we know like what shape to cut the fiberglass. And then we'll cut the fiberglass, um, I think like about one inch uh, in one inch layers. Like so we go in an inch, an inch, an inch, maybe like I don't know, four or five layers of fiberglass. I've been told we are doing the small pieces first because we're using epoxy resin. There's some debate about whether you do the largest layer first or the smallest layer first, but I've been told we're doing the smallest layer first because of the type of resin that we're using. And I think that makes me feel more comfortable because I think putting a small piece on first will be easier than putting a giant piece of fiberglass on. So. We shall see how it goes. Now we need to clean up. Good work. Thanks. Pound it. I'm so itchy. Just when I thought I was done grinding, I think I have some more to do. <laughs> yeah, so it's a new day. 
we're back at the boat. It's actually, we've been down here for a few days now. And as you've seen, Kirsten has been absolutely killing it with the grinder. And we thought at the end of yesterday's workday that we were done with that part of it. But <laughs> we talked to a friend in the boatyard, trying to get a second opinion. I took another look at it. And I think there's a couple more spots that I want to smooth out. Maybe another layer that's delaminated, not really sure. He said, basically, it's, you know, you do a little bit more prep work now so that later your job is easier uh, and everything goes on smoothly. Right. And hopefully there's not a lot uh, as far as time goes of work to do. Um, and so the goal today is still, though, to start laying up the new glass. So that could be pretty exciting. That would be pretty fun. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to see. You think you need more? Let me try to get this. I'm just like really not sure about this. I'm not worried about this at all. Okay. And I don't think this is delamination. This is just like a nick. Okay. okay. I don't know. We'll find out. Sorry. <laughs> Kirsten's handiwork. Now that the grinding is done, we are getting ready to lay the fiberglass. So step one in that process is to make a pattern out of parchment paper and permanent marker. So let's go do that. Shout out to my friends Annie and Emmy and Kristen and Molly who are big craft people and they gave me the confidence to tackle some boat projects because they're basically just big craft projects. Tracing and cutting has all been done. Here they are. Up next is surface prep. So Kirsten won't let me have any fun. She did all the grinding. I offered to do some of it. She wouldn't let me. And now, She's getting ready to do the epoxy. All I'm good for is cleaning, apparently. It's just like baking. This first batch is thickened epoxy, which is the two-part compound mixed with the filler, such as silica. We mix it to the consistency of peanut butter, and we are gonna use it to fill the various small cracks and little voids. All scoop, like it still feels like feels like warm peanut butter, like. Yeah, but it ain't going anywhere. We 
we got the thickened epoxy on the little chips in the outside. Now we're gonna lay the glass underneath the stove. And then we're gonna go back outside and start laying the glass in the big hole that Kirsten put in our boat. The surface is already prepped. After getting the backing glass in on the inside, now we're on to the outside. She is crushing it. She is basically, one of her favorite phrases, taking ownership of the outside projects, whereas I was rocking the inside projects. But she's doing great. We got the first layer. We got the, we got the first layer inside the backing layer, and we're getting uh, the first layer outside on. So go pretty good. Oh, and we got these little guys filled. Seven. It's really pretty dark for seven o'clock, but anyway, 7 p.m., not a.m. It's been a really productive day, and what we did is we went back to the Airbnb, fed the dogs, had dinner, but this is what was accomplished so far today. We have two layers of the glass in place. I think it looks pretty good. I think Kirsten has absolutely killed this project so far, and what we're doing kind of the rest of the evening is we are going to do two more layers um, and then we're gonna let that cure completely and then we can get to like sanding that down. We'll add some more glass and thinner glass, four ounce glass and fairing compound to get the curvature of the hull correct. But I'm, I'm pretty happy. I think it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks really good. Let's hope it stays on. Yeah, definitely. Last night we hit a rather frustrating stopping point. So today I am back to sanding. We are creating a larger perimeter here so that we can lay our last big piece of glass. We're gonna try to fill in with a couple other smaller pieces as well. So let's get back to sanding. Okay, we uh, alternated today. Kirsten let me have some fun with the power tools. Most days she doesn't. But anyways, we think that the hole is ready to go. We expanded kind of around every edge. So that way the end of the most recent layer of fiberglass, we have at least an inch, at least have an inch in every direction. And we knocked down some of the peak.
finally confident with how far we had ground out the old glass, each of the remaining days on this project consisted of the same steps. Roughing up the prior layer of glass, prepping the surface for new glass, mixing a new batch of epoxy, cutting the additional layers of glass to shape, and finally laying those additional layers in place. So it's the next day and we think we are done with building out the hull and fiberglass in the deepest places where there was a hole all the way through our boat. We have, we think, 10 layers of the thick glass and one layer of the thin glass and it sounds good. Like earlier, if you knocked up here and then knocked down here, it was completely different sounds and now sounds the same. So we're really, really pleased. Kirsten has absolutely killed this project. I got to help kind of finish it, but this is really her baby. So I'm gonna take the camera from her and let her, her pull off this uh, peel fly finish. All right. Andy tells me this is easy to do. It just comes right off. Ooh! <gasps> Oh my gosh. Ooh. I see some spots in the thin layer that need to be sanded, I think. good. Job well done. So it's now a few days after we finished kind of the structural fiberglass repair. So what we have to do now is all the finishing work. 